Greetings, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, I have a tiny, tiny announcement. I'm hoping to have a stream later today, or later than the video is posted. Check for that. It's going to be kind of morning-ish um, America's time, and uh, late evening, or, well, evening time in Europe land, and... Australia, New Zealand, Eastern Asia. Sorry, <laughs> it's going to be really late, um, but hopefully you can catch the VOD. Anyway, I wanted to make that announcement. The exact time is going to be posted in the community announcement thing where the polls are, and hopefully you'll get that as a notification. If not, just check the community tab on, uh, on YouTube. So anyway, I've been having some hard decisions to make here. I, uh, okay, let me tell you what the struggle is. The struggle is we need green cubes and I want to make them en masse as all the other sciences so we get that going so we can finally get to white cubes. However, having said that, uh, the rockets, we need to make rockets because we need to do the Dyson Sphere because if we do the Dyson Sphere last, yes, a series might end shortly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to get boring. So um, I just want to start the Dyson Sphere. That's my most important thing. However, it would be nice to get some green things. Now, I thought about going to many uh, other systems, at least a far off system, because one of the things I've noticed in my test playthrough is that the farther the star, normally the more resources it has. However, I think that in the current, oh, look at that. Look at that ship going from 65 Valorum. Isn't that nice? Anyway, what I'm thinking is that we might use one of these two star systems. This one, Ataga Aquilae, has crude oil, which is nice. We can get some infinite graphite for the, um, the green science for that. I was just looking into the recipes earlier. And so it would be kind of a good place. Uh, however, there's also the possibility of going to one of these blue stars. I hope you guys caught the amazing, lovely post from the developers about how they uh, sort of standardize stars and are going off of real world equivalents um, and kind of like, oh yeah, you know, the blue blue ones are the, the brightest and then goes white and then yellow and then orange and then red. And then of course tapers off into purple and the black hole. Um, but anyway, those luminosity ratings are uh, from here as well. Uh, from are they, they are related to the color of the star, the type of the star. This is a B-type star. I think if we have, I don't know if we have an A-type star. There we go. Here's an A-type star. It's 1.146. And somebody told me in the comments that it's a logarithmic scale. So like this one's going to have much more than 1.7 times uh, a regular star, it's gonna be much more than that. So anyway, those are our options. We, we're, we I would just been thinking. So what I'm thinking is 65 Valorum is not a very bright star. Oh no, we're going to Ada Aquilae, never mind. Uh, for that stuff, I think. Or we can just go and get some green science. And I think that's what, what we're gonna do. We're gonna do an Avon. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Avon's playthroughs, uh, it would be cool to fami familiarize yourself because he's awesome. And I really love the way he plays. It's quite a different style than I am. Also, Caladorn is playing this game and he also plays a different style than I am. So it's so cool to have like people that I've been uh, talking to and kind of seeing what they're doing and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, because we all have stuff to share with each other and it's it's quite cool. Uh, so for example, I'm I want to take a page out of Caladorn's book and kind of do a different smelting thing than we have been doing. Um, but that's going to be upcoming soon. Well, ish soon. Soon TM. So what I want to do here is I'm going to do an Avon, which he loves to build temporary setups uh, because it's nice to have some of something rather than none. And I tend to do these huge builds, but right now I just want to get some of the green cubes. And all we need are lenses, which are here. And then we need the uh, improved processors, which are called quantum chips. So what I want to do today is make green uh, assemblers. And we're going to get some of these uh, lenses there to do this. Now, what are these lenses doing exactly? Okay, they're going to the end of this line. And what's happening here? Are we short on a material? We have no green barbells. 
So what we might need to do is get more power. Because <laughs> we don't have enough power. Alright, let's find out why. And if we can add more Dyson dishes, that would be helpful. If not, then we need to maybe add more plants burning the Deuteron fuel rods. So how are these doing? These are going 12 and a half megawatts. We cannot add a lens here yet. I know of that technology. Um, basically, it doubles the output of the dish. It also takes uh, that m amount from the uh, from the Dyson swarm, wherever it is. There it is. It does take that amount, so it's not like free energy or anything like that. It just doubles. Basically, in case you don't have enough room, like here, where we have literally had to create land for this area. Let's look at our Dyson Swarm and see. We have 194 megawatts capacity. We are demanding some. Oh, okay. It looks to me like we can put another dish down maybe. Okay, let's try that actually. Let's get out some landfill. If I have some, I do have some. Oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more. Let's just add this here. Oh, please, no. I don't know why it always changes back to, um, uh, what do you call it? Decorated landfill, if you will. Let's add this here. I don't know if I have a Dyson dish on me, actually. Let's delete these couple of power or solar power thingies. Let's go here. Hello. Colliding. Colliding. Aha! There we go. That is... That is not on a line. Let me make sure that that is on a line because it is a pain in the socks if you don't have your feeding in for the uh, thingies there feeding in for the lenses. Okay, so this is getting a little bit more energy. Dyson Sphere status 141. Total requested and then total generation. Okay, so this is going to request 12 more. Uh, so I think we have room to put a couple more dishes down. This is kind of fabulous. This is really great. So I'm really happy that we're able to generate that much electricity. So let's see, the next one will go here-ish. Something like that. Okay, there we go. We'll get that one charging up. And I'll add more landfill. Let's see, there-ish. And fill in. I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this and we can pick up more when we're in the area. Okay, there's our next one. And the next one. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so requested at 168. So these start at a minimum of five and then they go up um, with the continuous receiving and they go up to 12 and a half. And it looks like maybe that we added what 12 and a half times three is 36, uh, 38, something like that, 37, 38. Uh, so that's gonna be at our 192, I think. So let's let those kind of percolate a bit. And in the meantime, we can go down here and organize some sciencey stuff. Oh, this is so great. Look at the world, it is nice. But I think we're going to need more of these guys. We need more, more, more miniature particle colliders. This is also a very temporary setup. And I think we're going to have to, going to have to figure out something here with this. I do kind of want to change how this is done because I think we're having, we're making too many warpers here for... The amount of lenses we're getting. This is okay, it's 70% energy now. Let's see what if we can build some more of those. We, we might have to move this back because I want to split this line off instead of uh, all of them going into warpers because right now that is not working at all well for us. 
Um, all right, miniature particle gliders. Let's see. These guys need all kinds of materials. I wonder if I should make them in the mall. Uh, because they are kind of... I don't know. They kind of need stuff. Did I... I made fractionators. I didn't make particle colliders over here. Let's see if we have something close to what they need. Let's see. Those need chips. They need... Wow. They need graphene, which we have coming in there. So let's see... What else can we do here with these? Miniature particle collider, where do you live? I always lose the buildings. I haven't quite memorized them yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, we need 10 graphene. You know what? I can just pick up the materials. It'll be fine. We actually have enough stuff here. Let's take several. Let's see, we need 50 for each. So let's take enough for five. I hope I have enough of the other stuff. Oh gosh, I have so many carbon nanotubes. What am I going to do with all that? Jeez. Um, hmm. Is anybody importing those things? Hello? No? Oh. Well, that doesn't work very well, does it? Hmm. I seem to have forgotten to add power to this building altogether. And I also don't have any ships here. So that's not good. They can't go get stuff. I'll add like, sure, nine, that's fine. And then big ships. I think I ran out of big ships actually. Just wanna grab those, there they are. Okay. I'm kind of in like building mode where we have so many uh, building things on us, which is like way, way too many. Okay, so those are mall things. They're not going to be nanotubes. I think I just need to chuck them in a box somewhere. I have this like sort of guilt thing about throwing things out. The whole like, oh yeah, can't throw it out because it's useful somewhere in some time. And it's not actually that useful to us because I'm never probably going to go back to this box. So yeah. Not great. Not a great story there. But it's okay. We can um, go here and grab or put back these guys. Actually, that's the thing we can do. We can definitely put back a lot of items that we're not using. Because we don't need them. Let's get just two of those. And then chemical plants. I don't think we need that many. We certainly do not need five stacks of them. And this, remember, I think was because of the overflow that we experienced when we went to the other planet and they like bombarded us with stuff. So, okay, we've got belts, we got things, we got stuff. I think we have enough right now to consider this whole thing. So we need graphene. We decided that. And we need what else? We need titanium stuff things. Let's see, the titanium stuff things were here-ish somewhere. There they are, right there. I almost feel like I should build its own tower for this. To make stuff because it is complicated. Wow, it's complicated. It's just, it either that or kind of redesign the mall. That's another definite option. Could put a machine here, possibly. Lack of items? What? Oh yeah, lack of items, of course. Because I don't have the lower level ones. Yeah, I could do that. I could put this one here. And that would get two ingredients, which is something. Let's see, all right. Miniature particle look collider. Particle look collider. I feel like I'm developing a new accent here. Um, let's get rid of that and that. And then here, we can start going up here. Shift. Yeah, sure. Go down there. Oh dear. Using the wrong belts. Oh wow, I have many, many level one belts. That's interesting. Let's put that one there. And then we can delete this. Not needed. And get another one. That's two ingredients. That's great. That's something. It's more than one. Okay. 
We need then graphene and processors. So graphene can be gotten from here. Processors are here. Are they they are coming from this side? Um okay, so what I can do is make a level one. You know what? I'm just gonna make a very I'm gonna use those level one belts, why not? Okay, there we go. Ah, darn it. I stopped one too short. Okay, and is that graphene? No, that's not graphene. Graphene is down here. Okay, so that can go there. There we are. We're gonna get our... Processors. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, we are doing good stuff here. I might have made a mistake, but we'll see. Can I get this box to accept goods from there? Yes. Boom. But we're not totally boomed yet. We're not sure about booming completely. Okay, so we do have processors. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. That should work then. And the last thing we need here is this stuff, which we definitely do not have. Uh, all right, let's find out how to make that stuff. That stuff, and maybe we just need to do something like, we'll just give it those engines <laughs> because I have nothing else to do with them. Let's get rid of this hydrogen, delete. All right, that stuff is made with something that I can't quite remember. Let's see. Okay, this is titanium, ha, ah, nanotubes, how funny, and silicon. So let's see, silicon is here. Titanium stuff is there. Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna spaghetti the heck out of this, I think. Okay, so that is, is this silicon? Yes, it is. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's look at this again. Nanotubes, gosh, where am I gonna get those things from? I wonder if I have any on this planet anywhere. Like, are we importing these things? Let's zoom out and f not that way, this way. Hello. All right, are we importing nanotubes for anything? That one's importing those things. Those, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Excuse me. Zoom out again. Are we needing them? No. I wish it wouldn't open this one automatically sometimes. I mean, if if it didn't, I'm sure I would complain the other way, but <laughs> that's what happens. Because it's like blocks the whole screen when you're like in up above mode. What were we using those things for? I don't remember. Was it purple science? It might have been purple science. Particle broadband. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if we have any of those in a tower that is exportable. I'm kind of thinking we might. We might actually have them somewhere. Uh, all right, so let's see what I can do here. I want to make those chippy things. Let's put an assembler in a convenient spot that is not blocked by trees. Let's have it... Mm, here. Where? Let's get one here. Hopefully that one can reach the silicon belt as well. This is very temporary. This is very, very temporary. <laughs> but it's fun. I love like, like sneaking things out from wherever we can, you know? That's great. <gasps> no, it's too far. That one's not. Woo! Okay. Uh, actually, we don't need this. We don't need that. That's regular graphene. We need the carbon nanotubes. Let's see if we can import some of this stuff. Hello. 500. Remote demand. Can we? Oh, we can. There they are. Hooray. Okay. Lovely. Nice. We are content with the situation. Yes. There we go. Pull it right up. And inserter. Okay, and the other item we needed was that titanium stuff, which also can come out of this uh, 
receptacle. Uh huh. You can have it squirrely wise. I think we can do it squirrely wise. That's fine. Let's see if we can do here and maybe there. I think we need here. Then here, we need to go up a tiny bit. There we go. Ah, beautiful. That works quite well. There we go. Now then. We have the things. Some of the things. Some of the things are still coming. So that's great. I am extremely happy with this situation so far. There it is. It is right there. Now, this thing needs to feed into here somehow, magically. And I think the magic is going to happen via belt like this way, maybe. Oh no. It's a little bit too tight there. But here will suffice. Now the question is, do we want to have a buffer? Probably. I think we probably want to have a buffer of this material. So... What I'm gonna do is, this is, oh, we can do a fun thing. Actually, let's do the fun thing. We're gonna do a buffer that's gonna be, uh, since this thing is gonna have a hard time, I guess we could squeak it into level one, but I'm not going to, because I wanna do something even more exciting. Okay, excuse me. There we go. And then we're gonna go up. Hello, hello. Okay, excuse me. Colliding with another object. Okay. What we're gonna do is feed this on level two of the boxes. Wait, why did that go downward? No, it didn't go downward. It's just, it is just a funky belt. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And what this thing does, it's, it is essentially a little elevator for stuff. But we're not going to use it like an elevator as per se. We're just going to feed it in the second floor and then take it from the second floor. Uh, because level one can take from anything above it. Basically anything can take from anything above it or feed anything above it. But if you put stuff on level one and try to take from level two, it won't uh, get stuff unless level one is completely full and then you have stuff in level two. Anyway, we're gonna make stuff. We're making things. We're making particle colliders and we're gonna have a stack in there. So this thing is making stuff already. This is beautiful. I'm quite happy about the situation. And we already have one more, hooray. Okay, so this is gonna help us solve some problems. So Maul has been addressed at the moment. Um, okay, and let's see. Oh, by the way, I do that on purpose. I know I had a comment about that um, one of these days. And I really like using sail mode to go over the horizon. I, I do that very much on purpose to go faster. Uh, so it doesn't take as long to get to the place I want to go to. Anyway, um, let's see. I think we need... Don't look, but we're probably going to use landfill here. <laughs> right. Pain, pain. It hurts. Can I, wait, we'll consume 1729 units. Does it, yeah, it's okay. It does, I wanna just get this. Okay, good. Okay, very nice. We'll add another one of these machines right there. Okay, we have faster move speed and I think the problem now is literally we don't have anything else to research. Whoa, that was fun. I think there was a tiny delay because of save there. I think that was an auto save. All right. In, in, and out. Very good. Are these all working? No, this one is not working. And um, once somebody pointed out that they have these little signs on them, like there's a little yellow thing. It's kind of like um, there's a Factorio mod called Bottleneck that has that kind of like, hey, we're not working and it's because we don't have whatever. So if we look at it, we're missing one material. So this is nice having another one of these guys. So let's see. We're still hovering at 60 to 70% power, and probably because we just added one of these machines. 
<laughs> they really are that power hungry. Let's see, where is our pole? There we are. Let's check on our new thingy majingy majingies. All right. It looks like we're at 100% on the new uh, receivers. And so they are drawing as much as they possibly can. It's only 11.3 megawatts because we kind of overestimated a tiny bit. But that's okay because if we add more sales, then it'll all kind of even out. I think, though, at this point, we might want to add more generators. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. How much are we missing right now? Um, oh, are these in a separate power grid? How did that happen? Hey, you sneaky stuff. I think something got messed up here. It's not good. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> okay. So we are still short by, let's see, 270. So like 30 megawatts. And these are nine. So let's add like four. There's one, two, three. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, geez. Okay. I forgot if I made those by hand or if they're in the mall. I don't remember. I do not remember. However, these are marching along quite beautifully. And I am going to have a buffer chest for these guys, for these lenses, because I want to make them into cubes. And we might even remove that last warper, because I don't think we actually need that many warpers, do we? No. No, they're, they're already full up. So this is not uh, anything we need to worry about. You go out this way. Okay, now then. We want to make science. Science. Yes. We can actually make science here. Or here, maybe. This might be a good spot. This looks festive. Do we have the makers? Let's see. Research matrix lab yes we do so i'm just gonna make one stack for now you know what i don't think we even need this many let's just make it shorter and these guys are too tall they're definitely too tall so i'm going to cut them down to three one two three one two three because these guys are basically just consuming energy that's all they're doing so i'm gonna go ahead and put the things needed into here Please take this particle broadband. Hello? Hello? There you go. Please? There you go. Nice. And here, you can have this too. You can have all this fun stuff. So you can make stuff. Pretty stuff. Pretty purple stuff. Let's look at our technology and see what is next. Um, I really want to get the Dyson Sphere more degrees on that. But can't afford it. This is nice to get the uh, Graviton lenses. But let's go ahead and look at the upgrades. Of course, the thing with the Graviton lenses, some people argue that it's too expensive, but the Graviton lenses last four minutes each, which is a lot. Uh, so I don't think that that's really that big of a, an issue at all because we're in a stage where right now they're expensive, but later they're cheap. So... That it's one of those like, oh my god, how much am I spending? But at, at some point, it's like, yeah, it's just, yeah, <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah, I mean, you do, you do decide to use it because you know your real estate is more valuable. So, all right, let's activate this research speed thing. Veins util utilization is great. Um, it looks like there's nothing else. Uh, we just need we need to have that green science. Um, anything else? This might be a good green science unlock, the mecha core. So it enables us to fly to other planets uh, more easily. So I think we're gonna get this first. And then I wanna go for probably this and then Dyson Sphere thingy thingy. What is this one? Ah, yeah, that's the unlocks antimatter stuff. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's get this one. Okay, so that's fine. So now we have, we know what we need. We know what we're using, need, have, whatever. So let's get this thing. Apparently we're not storing these little thingies after all. But they are backing up nicely on the belt because we're not using any warpers or not enough. 
Now then. Um, I think I want a goal. Let's, let's put these matrix labs. Oh, they're here already. Nice. These guys are going to make green. And we need graviton lenses and we need these quantum chips. Now the chips are going to be the harder part, I think. But hopefully we can manage it somewhat. Okay. Just take this and go down. Okay, and these can go there. Okay. All right, now then, quantum chips. Let's kind of go backward. I think we may just want like one or two machines producing these things initially. So I'm thinking this area here is okay, maybe. And this is, remember, very, very temporary. <laughs> very, very temporary. Okay, let's go one. Uh, oopsies. One, and I'll get a copy of this. So this is going to be the quantum chips, okay? We're going to need to import stuff for those. Namely, the processors. And then we're going to get the glass from somewhere here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that, but we're going to find out. Okay, let's figure out that glass. It does require a few components here. Ah, yes, the Casimir crystals. Oh, yes. How we love the Casimir crystals. It is nice. It is nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and we also need titanium glass. All right, so this, these things. All right, so if we make two of these guys, how much do we need? Uh, these cost six seconds to make, and we have two of them. Hopefully we can do some kinds of mental math, maybe. Casimir crystals are four seconds each, how nice. Um, so we need, probably two of them is more than enough. Um, and I, I'm not gonna do half a machine making stuff, that's just silly. Okay, so we'll do two of those. Making stuff. Maybe I'll put them on this side here and just have a different way of feeding this stuff here. Casimir crystals, hooray. Let's make them out of the optical grading crystal. Let's copy and paste, there we are. And I'm gonna put this, we're just gonna have much spaghetti here. One, two, three. And I'm leaving space in case we want to expand this. That's what I'm doing with this like long belt around here. Those are gonna output to that belt. Okay, and these are gonna be in, in, and in, in. So these need the cas, no, oh, these need glass, not crystals, no. Okay, so those are needing something else. All right, how do we want to get stuff to here? We can put a tower like right there. I think that's actually a decent idea. Let's put one here. And this is gonna feed us a number of things here. We're gonna get the processors here. Okay, we're gonna get processors. Where are they? There they are. Okay, and I don't know thousand local demand remote demand and then we need hydrogen that's wait are, is it hydrogen yeah it is hydrogen we need lots of this so like i think 2000 enough remote demand okay uh what else do we need oh yeah the optical grading crystal and graphene so this, yeah, let's get, I don't know, a thousand I think is enough. Actually, you know what? Let's do 2000 because this is going to come from far away. So we want it to have a relatively high amount of stuff stored. Um, so we have full ships going back and forth. And then graphene, I think, is 
Yeah, sure, 2,000. Fine. All right, so these are coming. The rest are coming. I don't remember if we have any of this shipped here. This might be remote dem or local demand. There we go, remote demand, or yeah. And they can go to the other station. That's just fine. Okay, so these guys, again, they need many things. Many, many, many things. I'm going to put carbon or the uh, hydrogen on the first belt. And that is very specifically so that the travel time on the inserters is low. Next, we're going to need, let's do the graphene. That should be fine. And then we're going to get the optical grading crystal. All right. Good, good, good. Very good. See if we can sneak in a power pole. Yes, we can. Hooray. And then here, let's see. This is going to be processors in, I think we decided. Let's just change where those uh, inserters are. This is level two. And going down there. Okay, and get those out of this tower. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so these are all connected. We need to add power poles so that we get all of these things going here. There we are. Okay, now then. We're making Casimir crystals. Those go into the glass. I think, because we kind of missed that step just slightly. Um, okay, those require titanium glass, which is also extremely, like, extensive. All these processes are so, so wild. Um, okay, so we have two of these. Um, all right, so four per second. We need three per machine. Wow. Gosh, that's a lot of machines. So we need we would need six of these guys. Um Okay, we're gonna put it on this side, I think. Alright, we got research speed. Hooray! Let's put them over here and just have a tiny bit of space here. These guys, let's go with those making Titanium glass, this plain filter, that's what it is, not titanium glass yet. Two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna change this belt. And that one's gonna go the other side, like this. And up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what is it? What are we missing now? We're missing hydrogen and optical grading crystals. Are those coming? You know what? I, I think I need to request them because I think we don't have ships in the other lands. So let's get these here and get oh, four here. Let's get another couple. Sure. Okay, and cannot charge. Why can't you charge? Hello? Ah. Power poles. That would help. <laughs> I thought I put one. It was my bad. All right. So let's see. We have this stuff coming. And so therefore, okay, there we're getting, we're getting the uh, graphene coming in and hopefully those optical grading crystals. I'm pretty sure that we were mining that somewhere. Let's check. If we press P for production, I want to see uh, Velorum. Let's see. Do we have optical grading crystal not there? Eta Aquilae? Yes, we do. Did we make any? We made 621. So I'm not sure why. Why is it only 621 instead of like Ks? Is it because we're not using it or we need to find the answer to this? We may have to go and visit there. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, anyway, we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna get these inserters going here. Okay. 
And I think, is that the glass that goes into this? Yes. Okay, so this is going to be connected there. There we go. Very nice. Okay, and this can output there then. Nice. And this needs fancy glass, titanium glass. Okay, so we'll have an input for that. We'll have a belt here. Um, sure. Okay, now the next thing I want to look at is getting that titanium glass and it needs many things. It needs some water and titanium and glass. Can we get titanium and glass in here? No. Uh, we can't get titanium though. Let's get the titanium. And we might actually make the glass locally because we don't have... I don't think we have any. Yeah, let's see. We're going to call this local demand because I think we're importing that from elsewhere. So I think with this, I'm going to have a circular belt like going like this kind of thing. And then have the glass output to here. Let's check the crafting time on this stuff here. We have titanium glass made every five, every five seconds. How nice. Oh, that's so nice. You know, it's really nice. It's just nice. So we only need like two or three of these, which is good, which is just fine. It's just fine. Really just fine. I've, these numbers are like, no, they make my head scream a tiny bit. But I didn't want to get out the calculator because this is very temporary. It's not, uh, not, not solid at all here. So let's see. Let's get our thing and get the titanium out. Go there. Okay. And then we want to have water. Let's get our water thingy makers out. How much water does it need? It needs two water every five seconds. How much do these guys produce if we make a, a water production thingy? Water pumps. 70 a minute. Why is it in minutes and not seconds? I don't get that. So it's one per second, one point something per second. So every five seconds we need two. Meaning, I'm just going to make a couple. How about that? That seems reasonable. Okay. Mm yeah, that's that's enough. We're just going to call that enough. Because I'm quite happy with calling that enough. Okay, water has arrived. Now we need glass. Oh, these guys don't fit in between. That's a tiny bit awkward. Just a tiny bit. But it's okay. Uh, Alright, so glass. Do we have any stone nearby? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Crude oil, coal. We have more crude oil. We have much crude oil. We may have to buy stone somewhere. Hello? Stone? Where are you? <laughs> Where is the stone? Help! You know what would be really helpful is if we could turn off these checkboxes to seek specific uh, resources. You know, like find find the stone, for example. There's some stone. Do we have much? We have four million stone. Here's some. Uh, there's some here as well. Where are we? Okay, we're here. So if I go up, there's one there. Okay. I can go maybe up there and grab some glass um, and just make it. So let's see, we have three of those. I'm not sure how much we need. But here is our stone and we're using just a tiny bit for those stone piley things. All right, I'm just gonna tap the whole thing and then just kind of just set it up like we normally do. Just put belts all around. OK. 
Okay. That's nice, nice. Probably won't need quite that much. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. That's kind of how I want to run it, I think. Sneaking these things in like this is going to work very nicely. Ah, yes, there we go. Looking good. Just want to make a tiny bit of glass from this. Let's put down our smelters. Put down one and then choose a recipe first. That would be helpful. Okay, so this makes one every two seconds. And we were making this stuff, titanium glass. So every two seconds that makes one. So every five seconds it makes uh, two and a half. So we only need, let's see, we have two of those machines. Um, so we need like one per machine, I guess. So we had like three machines. So this is way overkill <laughs> is what that means. It just means that. I guess what I could do is I could set up a big line here and then just ship it in a tower. And I think that's probably the better idea just to get a little bit of glass out into the world. Uh, in case we need it elsewhere, or just in case we want to expand the operation. You know, I mean, it doesn't really hurt to set it up. Works quite nicely. Let's see, I'll set up the tower maybe there. And of course, I'm not doing this at all to any sort of scale. I'm just put down a bunch of machines and we're going to... It's definitely going to be enough for our purposes, but it's not really to any specific amount. All right. Okay, and you're going to store this glass. Uh, and have, I think, let's have that much. Yeah, so we can dump some in if we want to. Let's get our sorters, inserters. Yeah, I really enjoyed the, uh, the developer note on how they the star systems and stuff I, I highly recommend that you read it if you get a chance because it's very very cool okay there we go and tower ready glass being made all the things are happening stuff and things all the things I feel like I could add some more definitely I'll just add a couple for now Sorters, you know. Hello. Give me the thing I want. Just add a tiny bit of production here. Oh no! Darn it! And this is this is where I messed up a tiny bit. Is like, whoops! <laughs> I did this specifically for this array, and nowhere else. Yeah, and this one is also out of power range. No! Okay, put that one there. Okay, very good. Let's go to our mall real quick since it's very close and I want to pick up some belts. Uh, where are you, belts? There you are. Hooray! Let's get these guys here. Toss in those. Actually, I could keep a little bit for upgrading, but then again, I don't really care that much, so it's fine. Let's see. Does this not take any more belts? No, I guess not. Darn it. Okay, let's go back to our glass uh, glass class thingy thingy stuff. All the things happening right now. There it is, and we actually have the glass. Perfect. Is this crystal here? Oh, boy. What did I mess up? <laughs> I, I'm like, where is this stuff? What am I messing up here? Why? why? The why is real. Okay. 
Um, we also need a local tower. Is this a local tower? It is a local tower. I mean, I knew it was, but I just was like, huh, does it have enough product? Or does it have enough space? So I want to grab, yeah, like a thousand glass, I think. Sure. And that's close enough to put in a tiny bit of belt spaghetti. Let's see. Let's get the shift there and then take it down this way. And this one. Just take it out of there. Glass, please. And here's this. I do kind of want to do something like that and then there. Yeah, that's fine. That's that one's gonna work very nicely. Does this have ships? It does have five ships. So maybe we need to add a few more ships. Okay. Let's get these uh, inserters sorted out. You see what I did there? <laughs> oh, and by the way, thank you so much everyone for the mushroom particle broadband. That helps immensely and it's great and it's funny. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I keep expecting to see mushroom particle broadband on every one of my YouTube videos as comments. Oh, uh, but they do so help out the channels. I really, really appreciate that. It's pretty great. <laughs> mushroom particle broadband. I feel like that should be the hashtag for my channel or something. Oh, so good. Okay, so are these creating stuff? Hello? Oh, they're not outputting. Oh, that's the problem there. Like, hmm, is my optical grading crystal not outputting? Why do I not have? Why, why, why? No. All right, uh, we're at 51 minutes into the video, but man, we need to get this fixed because we are not getting any of it. Okay, so let's find out where do I have the optical grading crystal? Oh no, it's in P, production. This is in the Eta Aquilae system. Let's find it. Hello? Do I see it anywhere? There's... Nope, we're back to the beginning again. Rostaban. Nope, 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 nope. Eta Aquilae. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... Let's see, turn off game mode and... Warpy, warpy, warpy. I hope I have enough energy. Yes, I do. Oh, that's good. I guess it's far enough. Okay, I don't remember which planet it's on, but we'll get there. It'll be fine. Okay. There's two, four, two. Jeez. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, where do we need to go? Let's just quickly find is it one that has the optical grading crystal no it must be two okay so we're gonna find two turn around go with that away okay i am increasing speed but I'm gonna take a tiny bit to get there i feel like i need to always leave some speed for maneuvering because we've had too many accidents. We've had many, many accidents. <laughs> Why no optical grading crystal? I wonder if there's like a belt missing or is it a power issue or what the heck happened to this? We need to get it solved. But I'm excited. With this, we should actually get some green science. Come on. Come on, place. Come closer. Stop running away. Stop orbiting. There we go. There we go. Coming in. Okay. Boom. The tower is over that way. Okay, here's the optical grading crystal. Hello? Oh, really? Yes, this is why. Look at this naughtiness. This is so bad. That makes me feel bad, man. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, let's put down a couple of towers here. 
Oh, we did actually get the, the power. Do we need more power? Oh no, we're good. We're plenty good. We have much, much stuff. Remember if this was the planet, people were saying that it was disconnected. But it is connected. You can see this one is connected anyway. I don't know, know about the other planets, but this one should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and place down some power poles so I can recharge quickly. Now there is a strategy for this, apparently. There is a... You can put 12 in a grid. This way? No, not that way. Here's nine. I think it's... Is it this way? I don't remember. Oh gosh, it doesn't really matter. Too close to another power facility. In any case, it's fine. I don't know if the grid can... We might actually need 12, don't we? But I don't remember how they did it. Was it three and one? Maybe it was, was it like this? No, because then I wouldn't be in range. I'm not quite sure how it is, but we are recharging quite quickly, so that's good. I'm really anxious to get back and hopefully get stuff going. Come on, thing, charge faster, hurry. Or was it four and then two on the sides? That could be it, actually. If we get rid of this thing, let's see. Let's try to make this thing. I think... Was it like this somehow or something? Maybe, maybe it was like that. X. I think it was like this. Oh, they're like, we're giving up on you. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Yeah, but that doesn't... I don't know if it, everything reaches. That one does. That one does. Sort of. They sort of reach. It's kind of hard to tell if they actually reach or not. Oh, they are very unhappy about the situation, though. I'm just going to go with my... Go with, like, nine for now. But we don't really need too much because um, we're almost there. And we just want to... I forgot if I added the inserters on the green science. And we certainly don't have green delivered. So there's a couple of more items that I want to fix first. Alright, let's go home. Go flight mode. Hello. We're going to... This way, I think. Because we passed gear tab... Gear tab? Gear tab? Along the way... Oh no. Oh no, it's way off to the side. That's right, because we're closer. That's right. Okay, so let's warp there to Rastaban. It'll be exciting when we get even better warp capabilities and better, like, fuel tank for our mech. Uh, so we can go on much longer journeys because you see how fast the uh, fuel is depleting. But I think, I, if I remember correctly, every research doubles the tank size. So it's a huge upgrade when you get it. And that's why I chose that to be the very first thing that we get with green uh, science. Okay, we're going to Rastaban 3. Whoa! Stop, 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 please. <laughs> Gotta click it multiple times. It's like, no! Okay, there we go. Oh, and I think we had more, um, I, I remember now, we had got a um, solar sail life um, tech happening. So I think that's another reason we had a little bit more fun stuff going on. Okay, so let's see, where are we? We are, I mean, I know where we are, sort of, mostly. There we go, we're here. We are at Green Science. Are we getting something? Ah, we did not add the other thing, which goes uh, there. Whoopsies, hello. All right, and then we needed the crystal. Did we get the crystal yet? No, we did not get any crystal yet. That really surprises me. Um, oh, no, it doesn't because we don't have warpers here. Ha ha, hooray. We figured that one out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just deliver them in a sneaky kind of way. Let's just do a... Let's go here. Oops. 
Whoopsies. No, no, no. There and down here. And then in there. Nice. I didn't even think about the warpers, and of course that's the reason it doesn't work very well. There we go. Nice. Alright, so then we'll be able to pick up the crystal. And I'm glad we solved that one, figured it out, so for future reference we'll be able to, to get those things going quickly. I should give this tower my warpers right now. Here, take stuff. There we go. Plus 1200. Plus 1800. Plus 2400. Ah, <laughs> nice. See, there we go. That's what we needed to see. Now, do we? Ha do I have enough warpers? I have 12. I think it is like a max of 20 or something. So let's grab a few. Like 38? Sure. That seems good. How many can we hold? 20. Okay, so then we'll have 30 in a stack. That's plenty for us, for our use. Hey, and this is working. We're going to get the stuff and the things. Now, the only thing... We have a couple of things, actually. So, uh, Casimir crystals are coming in here. These guys need to output to here. Okay, quantum chippy chips. And then... This is going to output to... Our science labs over here. I mean, here they are. Yeah. So let's see, can we I'm gonna do a belt this way? I guess that can go here. Oh yes, that fits quite nicely. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Nice fitting stuff. Take that out. This is so exciting using that optical grading crystal and all the things and all the stuff. It's great. Um, okay, so we do have, uh, we need a box here. So we'll get that box going on and we'll just do an in and out. Nice. Oh, I can't wait till these crystals arrive. This is so exciting. And of course we're over an hour now into the episode, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. YouTube does not like videos that are over 45 minutes long, but I try not to care too much. Oh, are they coming back? Oh, they look pink. Those are probably our crystals. Look at this. They are just zo zooming right in. All right. Are these coming here? Hello? Yes. Are you for us? For us? Please? Please? We look to the heavens. Hello? Where? Please. Was it ours? I don't even... Oh, here they are. Oh, they're pink. There they are with the optical grading crystals. Hooray. Oh, that's nice. We got the stuff and the things. All the stuff and all the things are happening right now. So these things are going into here. And these are being taken up by these machines. Okay, machine, machine. Go, 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 go. We're waiting for their, for their output. There goes one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's go. Watch, watch. Okay, this needs how many? Huh? They need two. Oh, I didn't think about that. Darn it. These need... We probably need more of these, I think. Because these need two. I didn't realize they need two rather than just one. Oh, well. It'll be fine. We'll try to, we'll try to sort it out and see. We may just need to, to make more, more product here. But these guys are... So I could make... See, these end ones are not producing at all. Do these need more than one Casimir crystal? No, but they do need more of this glass. We have plenty of glass. We're just lacking the crystals right now. Let me add one more of these. I feel my math has been an error. Probably in more than one spot. Output. There we go. Just want to see. So this one is not functioning yet. That one is not functioning either. Why not? Too much stuff. Okay. So these are doing pretty well. But we probably need more crystals here. 
but this is this is going are we oh my god we're making green science <gasps> that's all we need to know we've made several now we've made five that's it <laughs> we've made five oh boy oh boy oh boy five is not a lot but uh, maybe we can expand this a tiny bit in any case it's just meant so that we have some and some is always good so Anyway, I think we're going to have to say goodbye for this episode. I hope to see you at my stream. Remember, check the um, the info thingy uh, on when it's going to be. And uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.